Welcome to uh, a deep dive into documentary filmmaking. We're going behind the scenes today to uncover, well, a treasure trove of knowledge that even seasoned filmmakers might find surprising. We're talking about desktop documentaries. And it's more than just a website. Imagine, you know, a place where filmmakers at all levels, from those with just a spark of an idea to industry veterans, come together to learn, collaborate, and turn, you know, turn their visions into reality. That's desktop documentaries. Okay, I'm intrigued. But for those of us who haven't stumbled upon it yet, give us the lowdown. So it was founded by Faith Fuller, who has been in the filmmaking you know, trenches for over 30 years. Yeah. She's not just talking the talk, she's walked the walk. And she's brought together this incredible team of instructors, Oscar nominees, Emmy winners, people who've worked on those documentaries you probably you know, binge watch. Wow, so we're talking about learning from the best of the best. Yeah. But is it all about the technical stuff? Because you know me, I'm all about the story. You'd love this then. They actually have a whole course dedicated to documentary storytelling led by Daniel Rame. Okay. He's got 28 Criterion Collection documentaries to his name, which is, you know, a pretty big deal in the film world. Huge. They recognize that having a powerful story is just as important as having a fancy camera. That's so important. You can have all the technical skills in the world, but if you don't have a story that resonates with people, it's not going to matter. So they're not just teaching you how to film, they're teaching you how to connect. Exactly. And not just through storytelling. They delve into the business side of things, too. Peter Hamilton, a former CBS executive, teaches a course on how to get your film on platforms, you know, like Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine, like, Pitching your film to a streaming giant. That's the dream. Okay, that's huge. Yeah. So they're covering everything from finding your story to actually getting it out there for the world to see. Now, that's what I call a deep dive. And they're constantly evolving. They even have a course on using AI in documentaries, which just goes to show they're not afraid to embrace the future of filmmaking. Speaking of the future, let's talk about the people who are just starting their filmmaking journeys. There are probably a lot of listeners out there who have a story burning inside them but don't even know where to begin. That's the beauty of desktop documentaries. You don't have to be a seasoned pro to find value here. They've got a ton of free resources like um, blog posts and a weekly newsletter filled with tips and inspiration. So even if you're just casually curious about documentary filmmaking, it's worth checking out. Absolutely. They even offer a seven-day documentary crash course, which mm -hmm. is a great way to dip your toes in and see if it's, you know, the right path for you. Mm. And if you do decide to dive deeper, they have courses for every level from beginners to, you know, seasoned filmmakers looking to hone their skills. So we've got these amazing instructors that focus on storytelling and resources for every level. What really struck me, though, was the sheer variety of what they cover. I mean, their popular posts range from Netflix distribution to low-budget gear recommendations. It's like they've created this comprehensive roadmap for documentary filmmaking. Whether you're trying to figure out, you know, the legal aspects of using archival footage or you're looking for tips on how to conduct a compelling interview, they've got you covered. It's so easy to get caught up in the excitement of filmmaking but there are so many practical considerations that can make or break a project. And that's where desktop documentaries really shines. Yeah. They're not just teaching you how to make a film. They're giving you the tools and knowledge to navigate the entire process from that initial spark of an idea to getting your film seen by a global audience. And speaking of getting your film seen, I was really intrigued by their focus on distribution especially with the rise of streaming services. Oh, it's a whole new ball game these days. Yeah. Desktop documentaries understands that. They break down the complexities of film sales, demystify the process, and provide filmmakers with the tools they need to get their work in front of the right audiences. They even have a section on finding and developing winning documentary ideas, which I think is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, sometimes the hardest part is finding that story that truly grabs you, right? It's true. You could be the most technically skilled filmmaker in the world, but if you don't have a story that resonates, your film won't have the impact you're hoping for. And that's where a resource like Desktop Documentaries can be a game changer. They provide the guidance and support to help filmmakers find their voice, develop their stories, and ultimately share them with the world. They really do emphasize that filmmaking is about more than just the technical aspects. It's about having something to say, a story to tell, a message to share with the world. Right. And they empower filmmakers to do just that. Okay, I have to ask because I was really curious about this. What about filmmakers who might not be ready to commit to a full-blown course? That's what's so great about desktop documentaries. Yeah. They, they meet you where you're at. Okay. Even if you're like just dipping your toes in the water, right. they have something for you. Their blog is a goldmine of information. 
covering everything from gear recommendations to ethical considerations in documentary filmmaking. Ethical considerations. You know, I'm always interested in that side of things. Yeah. What kind of things do they cover there? Oh, they really go deep. Okay. For example, like, like how do you approach sensitive topics with respect and integrity? How do you ensure you're representing your subjects fairly? You know, it's not just about capturing a good story. It's about being, you know, responsible storytellers. That's so crucial, especially in the, the world of documentaries where you're dealing with real people and real lives. Yeah. And I imagine those ethical questions can get even more complex when you're dealing with things like archival footage or navigating, you know, legal issues. Absolutely. And and they address those head on. OK. They actually provide um, downloadable templates and resources, too. Oh, wow which can be incredibly helpful for filmmakers of all levels. Whether it's a release form template or a checklist for clearing archival footage, these resources can save filmmakers like a lot of time and potential headaches down the line. That's such a good point. It's like they've thought of everything. You know, going through all of this, it really feels like Desktop Documentaries has created this incredible community around documentary filmmaking. That's one of the things that really sets them apart, I think. Yeah. They understand that filmmaking for all its, you know, technical demands is ultimately a collaborative, you know, art form. Right. And they foster that collaborative spirit by providing a platform for filmmakers to connect, share their experiences and, and learn from one another. And they even encourage that connection offline. Right. They have that call for story ideas, which I find fascinating. Right. Exactly. Even if you aren't ready to, like, make a film just yet. Yeah. You can submit your idea to desktop documentaries. They're actively seeking out, you know, fresh perspectives and untoward stories. Who knows? Your idea could be the next, you know, big documentary that captivates audiences worldwide it's like they're saying we believe in the power of your story and we want to help you bring it to life yeah that's pretty powerful stuff it makes me think about all those incredible documentaries that have moved us challenged us and stayed with us long after the credits rolled and those films they all started with a single idea a spark of inspiration desktop documentaries understands that yeah and they're providing the fuel to ignite those sparks in aspiring filmmakers, you know, everywhere. It's like they've created this ecosystem where passion meets practicality. Yeah. You have seasoned professionals sharing their, you know, hard-won wisdom alongside aspiring filmmakers, you know, eager to make their mark on the world. And what I find truly inspiring is that desktop documentaries doesn't shy away from the challenges of filmmaking. Right. They acknowledge that it can be a long and arduous journey. Yeah. But they also emphasize the rewards. Right. They they remind us that documentary filmmaking has the power to spark conversations, to challenge perspectives, to inspire, you know, change. And they equip filmmakers with the tools and knowledge to navigate those challenges and ultimately share stories that matter. Right. Because at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? connecting with audiences on a human level, sharing experiences, and broadening our understanding of the world. Precisely. And what's so remarkable is that with platforms, you know, like desktop documentaries, the barriers to entry are lower than ever before. Right. You no longer need a big budget or like fancy equipment to tell a compelling story. Yeah. What matters most is the passion, the drive, and the desire to share something meaningful with the world. It's like they're democratizing the art of filmmaking. Yeah. Giving a voice to those who might not have had the opportunity before. Yeah. And that's something to be celebrated. Absolutely. Desktop documentaries is a testament to the power of storytelling and the importance of making those stories accessible to, you know, everyone. You know, hearing all of this, it really drives home the point that documentary filmmaking is about so much more than just pointing a camera and pressing record. It's about, you know, meticulous research, thoughtful planning and a deep understanding of you know, the craft. Right. It's about building trust with your subjects, navigating ethical dilemmas, and crafting a narrative that is both compelling and truthful. And Desktop Documentaries seems to provide guidance on every aspect of that journey. Mm -hmm. From that initial spark of an idea to the final stages of distribution, they offer a roadmap for filmmakers to follow, right. a support system to lean on, yeah. and a community to be a part of. They really emphasize that while the journey might be challenging, yeah. the the rewards are immeasurable. And that, I think, is an incredibly powerful message for anyone who's ever dreamed of sharing their story with the world. Absolutely. So for our listeners out there who are feeling inspired, what would you say is the first step they should take if they're curious about desktop documentaries? 
I'd say, you know, dive right in. Their website is a great place to start. Yeah. You can explore their free resources, get a feel for their teaching style, and even check out some of the incredible films made by their alumni. It's like window shopping for inspiration. You know, you yeah. can browse their course catalog, read testimonials from other filmmakers, and get a sense of whether, you know, their approach resonates with you. And don't underestimate the power of their free resources. Yeah. Their blog posts and weekly newsletter are packed with valuable tips, industry insights, and um, inspiring stories from working filmmakers. Right. It's a fantastic way to stay informed and connected to the, the documentary filmmaking community. It's like having a direct line to the heart of the documentary filmmaking world. You know, when you think about it, documentaries have this incredible power to open our eyes to new perspectives, to challenge our assumptions, to shine a light on stories that might otherwise go untold. It's true. A well-crafted documentary can, like, stay with you long after you finish watching it. Mm -hmm. It can spark conversations, inspire action, and even change the way you see the world. And now, with resources like desktop documentaries... More people than ever have the opportunity to tell those stories, to share their perspectives, and to make their voices heard. It's an exciting time to be a documentary filmmaker. Yeah. And Desktop Documentaries is, you know, at the forefront of this movement, empowering storytellers and making the art of documentary filmmaking more accessible than ever before. So to wrap things up, if there's one thing you want our listeners to take away from this deep dive into Desktop Documentaries, what would it be? I'd say if you have a story burning inside you, a story you feel needs to be told, don't wait for permission. Mm -hmm. Explore the resources available to you. Connect with other passionate storytellers and and take that first step. Yeah. Desktop documentaries might just be the spark you need to ignite your filmmaking journey. Beautifully said. And who knows, maybe the next time we do a deep dive into the world of documentary filmmaking, we'll be featuring a film made by one of our listeners. Until then... Keep exploring, keep creating, and keep diving deep into the stories that matter.